Following one of the most difficult days in the 25-year history of Gran Turismo, series founder Kazunori Yamauchi has released a statement to fans regarding the future of Gran Turismo 7, just two weeks into the title's life. The letter from Yamauchi firstly addresses the unprecedented 34-hour period where the game was unavailable due to a server maintenance notice. This was caused by a previously undetected issue in the 1.07 update, which could render the game inoperable, so Polyphony Digital took steps to prevent its deployment until a new patch was ready. However, the larger part of the statement covered one of the major talking points surrounding the earlier update, which saw payouts for the best earning races in the game slashed. That prompted significant backlash from the fans, including GT World Tour drivers and various high-profile voices in the community. The more serious accusation was that players were being pushed towards expensive microtransactions in order to fulfill GT7's apparent goal of collecting cars. The title was also heavily review bombed on review aggregator sites like Metacritic for the second time in three weeks. Yamauchi addressed both aspects of this via a special statement made on the official Gran Turismo website. The GT series creator states that he would like to avoid a situation where players have to repeat the same events in the game, a technique commonly referred to as grinding. Quote, I want to make GT7 a game in which you can enjoy a variety of cars lots of different ways, and if possible would like to try to avoid a situation where a player must mechanically keep replaying certain events over and over again." End quote. Yamauchi-san goes on to directly address microtransactions themselves. Quote, in GT7, I would like to have users enjoy lots of cars and races even without microtransactions. At the same time, the pricing of cars is an important element that conveys their value and rarity, so I do think it's important for it to be linked with real-world prices." End quote. Finally, Yamauchi-san addresses the future of Gran Turismo 7. Quote, we will, in time, let you know the update plans for additional content, additional race events, and additional features that will constructively resolve this. It pains me that I can't explain the details regarding this at the moment, but we plan on continuing to revise GT7 so that as many players as possible can enjoy the game. We would really appreciate it if everyone could watch over the growth of Gran Turismo 7 from a somewhat longer term point of view." End quote. That comment suggests the initial group of events available in GT7 was intended to be a short term starting point accounting for the first 39 menu books in GT Cafe. Even if some of the most expensive cars in the game are already available, and may get more expensive too. While players will likely still be upset in the short term over these changes, the good news is that Yamauchi-san and the team at Polyphony Digital do appear to be responding to the fierce backlash, and in time, Gran Turismo 7 may become all the better for it. As always, we will be keeping a close eye on the latest Gran Turismo news here at GT Planet, so be sure to subscribe and visit our website at www.gtplanet.net.